I was Tay's like OG because I got there in 05 and Tay got drafted 09. Him and Sean Smith because we needed corners. And and Tay came in and just just a man, a beautiful light, man. When I heard that. Yeah, I actually I actually found out on the radio show yesterday because it was released around 1.30, whatever, and I was running around and I got on the show and and Hawk and Solana told me what happened. And that was like my that was my my little brother. And I know Vernon, I know his family, like I know everybody. And man, it's devastating to to see that light not not be in this world anymore. I call him a light. Like it's funny. Y'all know his little voice. Like, I don't want to tear up, but just hey, hey guys. He had just like he was so he was always excited. He was always positive. He really was like a little brother to me. Um it's crazy. Um, when I dropped my kids off to school, Ari, I, uh, I'll stop. I'll keep a fishing rod with me. And it was like six weeks ago, maybe two months ago, I'm fishing on the side of Orange Drive. And <laughs> I just, somebody says, see, see. And I look back and it's Vonte and he U-turns and comes, pulls up. It might be 10 a.m. And we just sit and talk for two hours just about what he got going on, his his business ventures, his new stuff, what I got going on, you know, um, just his family, his brother, his, you know, his, everybody that I knew when he was playing. And like, if, if you ever sat down with Tay, it's not 15 minutes, it's two hours. Like you could really sit and talk to Tay forever. Cause he was just, he was such a positive light in this world. And when I heard that news yesterday, man, it just, it crushed me. It reminds me, it's just like Junior Seau, like, when I hear news, I call their phones and it goes to voicemail. And it's kind of when it hits, like they're never going to pick this phone up again. And it was like that with Junior. And it's <laughs> it's so weird, bro. I, t- I, I was with Junior in Nashville probably about two months before he passed. The same thing with Tay on the side of Orange Drive before he passed. And it's just like, it, it's more... It, People, people know them for football, but like those are my like my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not about tackles and interceptions. Like those are my buddies, and I'll never I'll never talk to them again. And that's what like that's what happened yesterday when I called Tay, and his 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 phone went straight to voicemail, and it's like that's. That that conversation on Orange Drive is the last time I'll ever I'll ever speak to him. With the Tay situation, I really wanna like I wanna hear how the because it, it happened so recently. So I really wanna hear the hear the, 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 the reports. I wanna see the you know the medical records. I wanna see what happened because it's the CT stuff's real. I don't know if what caused Tay's death. But I really want to know what caused his death, because after I heard, after the entire Junior Seau thing came out, it made me really look back and think about that CTE and those head traumas in a different way, because of the fact that Junior wasn't Junior wasn't a guy that I would have said would take his own life. Tay's not a guy that I said would take his own life. So I know the story now is that he was just found unresponsive in his home. So I really want to get those 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 facts down to look at it in totality and see what, what caused this bro. What caused my friend to be dead right now? Like it's, it's hard, man. (laughs) I'm not going to lie. It's the first, the first time I've talked about it. I know it's a sports topic, but this is like, these are, these are my lifelong friends that I've been friends with, hanging with, partying with, Mm -hmm. playing with, grinding with, working Mm -hmm. with, you know, barbecuing with, you know, like my son, my son, little Chan asked me, he saw it and he was like, daddy, is, isn't that your buddy? He saw it on the news and he's like, daddy, isn't that? And my son's met Tay, my daughter's met Tay, my wife, like, <laughs> man, it's, bro, it's crazy, but it's, 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 it's sports, but it's, it's so much bigger than that, man. And I just, I just wish the best for his family. I wish, you know, the clarity of what happened to him. And he was just, like I said, man, it was, 
Oh, uh, it was it's a it's a it's a it's a beautiful light, a beautiful human that just left this earth. We were just really making plans. Like <laughs> that's I, that's why I need to know what happened because people don't make plans. Like <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like the, the somebody working worrying about the future wouldn't take their own life. Like why am I saying, hey, we need to go fishing this summer? Right. If I'm if I'm not going to be here this summer, like I just right. I just need I just need I I have I have to know I have to know. And like I said, but it just reminds me a lot of Junior's situation where when I when I got the facts on that, it was just you don't know, you don't know what guys are going through, until you know what guys are going through. 